Hello, happy DIYers and woodworkers, me in here with Heartwood Art. What if you need to find the center of a circle on something like a dog bowl for a raised feeder or such? Well, there are a lot of ways to find the center of a circle, but I'm going to show you the easiest way by far using nothing other than a square and a pencil. So let's dive in. Now you can do this on your wood, but I do it on a piece of paper first just to make sure that your technique is accurate. So one of the tricks is with your pencil, make sure you've got enough lead out so that's what's touching the lip of what's tracing. You don't want the edge of your pencil on it because as you go around it, your angle may change and that would affect your accuracy. And accuracy does matter here. So we're gonna set that aside. And the next thing we need to do is draw two chords. That's a straight line touching two points on the circle, and we need two of those, and we need to put them at a pretty wide angle. So let me show you a tip with that, because what we need to do is find the midpoint of that cord. So let's make that easy on ourselves. We're going to come near the top of this, and I'm going to put the point of my pencil right on the circle and bring the edge of the square right into that point. Very carefully into that point. I must be on something on my workbench there. Here, right into that point. And then I'm going to gently spin this thing around until it hits another point on the circle of something that's easy for me to divide by two. This just happens to be six for me. That's super easy to divide. So I'm going to draw that chord and then mark the midpoint. And accuracy does count. So get right over it to mark that. Okay, now we need to do another one. And again, I'm going to start at the top so we have a pretty wide angle on this. And I'm going to go ahead and eyeball it so I don't have to spin it so much. That's pretty close. Put my pencil right there on the circle. Bring in the corner and spin that. Ooh, I eyeballed that pretty good. It's right on the six again because that was easy for me. So I'm going to use it. Then I'm going to mark the midpoint on that again. Now the next thing we need to do is draw perpendicular lines through these cords. That should be real easy, and here's the beauty of doing it this way. When you get this thing lined up perfectly on the inside of your square, then your midpoint is going to be on the circle. So you know for sure that you've got it dead square laid out. Then we'll do this one. Get it all lined up here. There's our midpoint, draw straight through it, and that is the center of our circle. Now, you can check the accuracy of this if your circle is not too big and you happen to have a compass, and you can put the point of that compass right on your center point, and then adjust it to find the radiance, and then scribe your circle. And it should be exactly what you trace. Now, if it's off a little bit, either your edge of your pencil was touching what you traced, your compass may be up, or to the accuracy of drawing your line. So practice a little bit, get it perfect, and transfer that technique to the wood. Well, that's it. I sure hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on the easiest way to find the center of a circle. And come on over and visit me at heartwoodart.com and see other easy shop builds like a raised dog bowl feeder, and I'll see you in the shop.